Angio says, hi, Kyle, I'm at a point where I'm completely numb. It's been a crazy five years. Okay, I've gone from leaving a 27 year marriage, being broke as fuck, homeless, being ghosted after two years, together now I feel absolutely nothing. I would too if you carry all this history with you. Like, like you're already running from the numb feeling with your history because your history doesn't exist. So I want you to picture, Angie, you got all these suitcases that you could let go of and you're grabbing them even in this description. They have nothing to do with you at all. You left a 27 year marriage a while ago. It's not in your reality right now to even think about. I mean, it might be something that part of your body needs to process, but stop picking up the weight. Like, as I read your question, Angie, I want you to just notice the weight at this. Like at the first thing, you give me something we can work with. Hi, Kyle, I'm at a point where I'm completely numb. Okay, let's let that be there. But then all the stuff comes in after it. It's been a crazy five years. Part of me, I, I don't want to be insulting, but I don't care because that isn't existing now. Can you go back to that time? Can you, can you uh, change anything about the five years? No. So everyone take in how much you might be talking about your past, bringing your past in or your future, right? And imagine here you are, this expanding thing that wants you to look at numbness and allow numbness to be there. And instead of being present for numbness, we're picking up all these other things too. None of those things that you did have anything to do with who you are. You are this moment. So if I grab those stories with you, I'm going to help you continue to avoid your inner child, which is causing your inner child to go numb. Right? So undo yourself from the story. You're an infinite magical creative being. Undo yourself from the story. You're an infinite, magical, creative being. Undo yourself. You can't carry all that shit with you. Don't carry all that shit with you. It's heavy as hell. The next thing you say is, I feel absolutely nothing, yet I'm always on the verge of crying. Let yourself cry. Forgive your entire past. Be right here. Let yourself cry. You want to cry the end. There's an energy in your body that's sad, the end. I want to cry, the end. I'm on the verge of crying. I feel absolutely lost, dazed, confused, dejected, disrespected, used, blah, blah, blah. I meditate for an hour a day. Well, I'm sure the meditation is trying really hard to go, stop picking up your past. Stop bringing your past into the now. Stop going to your past and, and coming up with homeless stories and bringing that into the now and saying, now I'm homeless. Because in this moment, you're picturing those things. You're, sc you're screaming that. You're also free. You're also free, but most people don't want to admit that. They get a lot of love for their negative story. A lot of people don't want to admit, right, that they're totally free. Does everyone get this so far? Do you understand that you're totally free? And, and, and we fight for the evidence that we're not all day? Do you feel you deserve the freedom that you are? Or do you go, no, he doesn't know my story. I need to fight for my limitation and play the limitation game. You are free, but you might be picking up the wrong relationship. You might be picking up the past story. You might be screaming, see, this is me, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to join you in that you're a victim to that. I'm going to feel love for you and feel compassion for the inner child that has been avoided in the picking up of those past stories. There's a, there's a picking, here's this inner child right here going, look at me. I'm sad. And you go, I left that relationship of 27 years. It's like, you're not looking at me. Looking at those things helps you to prevent that inner child from being seen, right? And here you are, this magical, infinite, creative being. And instead of looking at the magical, infinite, creative being you are, you're looking at the limitations. And this is my dare to everybody. Don't feel bad or shame about this. Feel excited about it. Does everyone get this? 
instead of looking at where everything went wrong, what you did the other time and why you're so tired and everything like that and what, undo yourself from that and notice I am free. Receive that you're free. And immediately if you do, you're gonna wanna start crying probably at one point because that would be the putting down of the suitcases of the limitation. Feel that, that's actually true. I can actually disprove that you are any of those stories because where are they? Are you breaking up with your marriage now? No. Are you homeless now? No, and if you are, what needs to be seen and loved, right? What's here now? One of the things that's happening in this time is the putting down of our suitcases. They're too heavy. You used to be able to walk around with your suitcases all day and didn't even notice it. Now, congratulations, Angie, they're too heavy. Let them go. They don't exist even. Stop picking them up. They don't exist. They don't exist. Are you receiving that? They don't exist, Angie. They don't exist. Every time we bring them up, we re-pick them up, right? I've been meditating for an hour daily. I'm on most AEP calls live, but I've been watching pretty much everything for the third or fifth time, but I still don't know what my calling life passion is then you might have missed all the things that I say, you don't need to find your calling. You are enough as is. You're trying to find what to do so you don't lose a parent's love in one way or another. There's no doing, you are an unfolding magical being and your purpose isn't in I'm now a, a plumber or I now rent a theater or I now am whatever, it's that you exist right? So you're already saying when you go, I need to find my passion. You're telling yourself that it's not enough. You're not enough, infinite being. I got to find the passion and make that my God. Oh, it turns out I'm good at baking chocolate cakes. That's my God now. Screw that. You are your God. Your mind cannot understand this. Do not try to wrap your mind around this. Let your mind collapse into the now. Let your mind fall off. Let your mind relax into the infinite power of what you are. No more wrapping your mind around it because your mind is trying to carry all that so that you can get some love or whatever connection. Let it all dissolve. Let it all fall apart. None of it is you. Most days I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind, you say here next. Thank God, lose your mind. Lose your mind because on the other side is your soul. On the other side of losing your mind is your soul. I want you to lose your mind. There's a great line in Peaceful Warrior. The kid says to the teacher, you're out of your mind. And he goes, it's taken me a lifetime to accomplish. <laughs> lose your mind. Screw the mind. The mind is here for survival and protection. How about your soul? What are you feeling right now, Angie? Feel free to write in the comments, Angie O. Anything you're feeling right now. Uh, there she goes. She wrote, thank you. Yes, I've been fighting the collapse. Yes, allow the collapse because you'll still be here. Let the inner false sense of collapse, which is the illusion of the small you, spinning plates and trying to keep everything together so that you don't get yelled at again when you were five, let it collapse, let it collapse. I'm not saying you externally collapse, let all the internal collapses, you become the present space of the now for it. You get right here and you say, I love you, you're allowed to collapse because there's patterns in your body that are tired and they feel unloved by you. And Angie O, you are the space of the now. That's the big shift, all of our egoic stories and our minds collapsing. Most days I feel like I'm losing my mind and the only problem is you think that's a problem. I'm losing my mind too. It's the most amazing, magical thing ever. Because what's on the other side of that? Lose your mind and then be here. Lose your mind and feel the now. Lose your mind. Lose your story. Angie says, carrying all this luggage and spinning these plates is exhausting. Hell yeah. 
So if I ask you what you feel, maybe you should say, maybe you would say, what would be the word that comes up? I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm lost. What would it be? Isn't this nice? I'm tired. Let yourself very tired. So you're tired. So here's the answer. Lie down. I'm tired. Take a day off. Yeah, but money. I know. I know. Well, how's it been working keeping all those suitcases? Does everyone get that? When everyone goes, I'd love to let go, but I got to make money. Okay. Has your way been making money? <laughs> has it been feasible to make money carrying years of luggage? Right? Like to the ego that's like, I got to make money. Just so you know, ego, you haven't been doing it. Have we even tried what happens when you connect with yourself? Have you been receiving what you've been working so hard to make? Do you get that question? How many times have you worked so hard to get something, but then not received it? Like I worked so hard to make all this money, but if it was like to go actually camping and, and go be myself for a while, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep building an account and just breathing in and never breathing out. Can you receive all the work you've done? Can you receive that you deserve to feel tired? Can you give yourself two days of sleep? And, and then watch as the suitcases answer with a no. But I, if I ask your soul, what's your soul say? Right? What's your soul say? I just bought an RV. A new amazing Sprinter van RV. I'm taking Vivi away and we're going to go camping. Right? I'll still be doing these calls, everything like that. And I'll, I'll be here for those. But like, I'm going to camp. Why? Because I'm here to move as if this is the last week of my life. Weirdly, when you do, you purge your suitcases. And when you purge your suitcases even more, life goes, oh, we're going to unfold an even more magical life for you. But if I move as if like I'm screwed and I'm lost and the world's falling apart and I got to keep it all together, life responds to that. It goes, all right, here's more of that. Here's more of your overwork. Here's more of your exhaustion. Here's overeating. Here's, here's, ex here's constantly needing help, but never receiving it. Here's just stagnant nothing. You deserve what you want. Does everyone get that sentence? There's things that you want, but you don't think you deserve. But just the fact that you want it means you deserve it because it would have never shown up for you if it wasn't in the, 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 the world of what you deserve. You wouldn't have seen it. So the fact that you want something means you deserve it. And the biggest thing we want that we don't think we deserve is our freedom our soul's freedom. So we go, I'm going to enslave myself to a job I hate because I don't deserve to just have the freedom to follow my own heart, right? I'm just going to stay in a stagnant relationship because I don't deserve to be actually loved on a real level. I don't deserve it. So I'm going to keep this crap going because I don't deserve the highest version of myself. I don't deserve to just feel loved and creative and, and meet God and connect with the divine. Many people believe just from their actions, I don't deserve to live on a free planet. You're getting the mirror of how you live. So the world's going, okay, let's show them. Welcome to lockdowns. Welcome to COVID. Welcome to whatever. Are you going to free yourself yet? Are you going to keep going what, staying in your stagnant shit, carrying the suitcases of a 30 year old story and walking around thinking about that all day and then being surprised that the world's going, oh, here's, here's what you said you wanted. You're carrying the suitcases of, of, of 27 years. So you want that exhaustion, right? You don't want the infinite creativity of what you are. So, okay, you got it. We're gonna make it a law that you stay in your house. That's what you're asking for. So my offer to you is, Angie, instead of grabbing those suitcases, could you write out and everyone write down what you want, especially anything you want that you have felt you don't deserve? What do you want as far as 
to feel loved? What do you want as far as connecting with God? What do you want as far as um, abundance? What do you want that you feel you don't deserve? What's something you want? An amazing client the other day saying they just want to go to like the Ritz Carlton at one point. And, and we realized they had a lot of money in abundance. It's like, I don't feel like I deserve it though. And it's like, that's the problem is you bring all this in and you don't receive it. Now it's not about just doing a ritzy thing. It's like, do the action you need to, to show yourself the vibration of deserving what you actually want, right? What do you want? Space? Do you want creativity? What does your soul want? And, and the part of you that says you don't deserve it is your ego going, I want to stay the small little story that's trying to avoid being hurt, right? Versus match what the universe already created as a magical desire that showed up for some reason in your psyche. You deserve it because you want it. And I'm not talking about, I deserve that person and they're married. That's not what I mean. I'm saying, what energy do you deserve? What do you deserve as far as being seen? What do you deserve as far as abundance? What do you deserve as far as inner freedom? What do you deserve as far as joy? I want you to move as if you deserve everything that you feel you want. If you have a hard time figuring out what you want, then go, what do I want to feel more of? It doesn't have to be that car or that thing could just be, I wanna feel freer. I wanna feel healed. I wanna feel presence. I wanna feel love. It is a fact that you deserve everything you want because if you didn't deserve it, it would have never shown up as a desire. So stop getting in the way of what God's telling you you deserve. Angie, at first, just from how you wrote, I can tell you didn't feel that you deserved an abundant life because you wouldn't be holding on to those stories. I got a ton of stories from my past that are suitcases that I don't even kind of remember anymore. Like they're there, I remember them, but there's no emotional grabbing of them anymore. And instead I'm just like, I deserve the now, I deserve abundance, I deserve a healed world, I deserve a free me, I deserve you know, to be really seen and loved. I deserve to care for someone fully. I deserve to bring my gift to the world. I deserve to be in my power. I deserve to be here. I'm not sabotaging any of that, right? Everyone take a deep breath in. And I want you to move as if you deserve everything you want. What do you want? 